I'm gonna skip the intro, and yes, I am feeling sick, and my throat really hurts when I talk, but we're going to be discussing about some individuals of the Avenger team slash boofer community that act all but hurt, all because of individuals saying their minds or speaking them out. For those who don't know, this is none other than Chloe the Hedge Fox or Chloe Hard Rocks or whatever you call this YouTuber. To sum this up, this YouTuber got extremely ticked with Van Light. Very good YouTuber, by the way. Please support him for what he does. Um, basically, she got mad of him commenting in one of her videos saying, I find it odd that this person took one of your quote-to-quote -quote spoofs, which they aren't spoofs at all. I really don't understand the logic behind this. There's no actual value behind your spoofs. Okay, uh, now before I begin with a statement, I'm going to clarify that yes, I used to be a member of the Avengers Team community and the spoofs, and yes, I used to overreact and get all butthurt over the stupidest of reasons. But thanks to Ben Light, and after doing a lot of thinking and consideration, and looking very, very hard into my old videos, which I might delete those old videos very soon, but not only did I leave because it has a bunch of butthurt members that would grovel in submission to a certain Fire King's beck and call, but the fact that they get all butthurt and they overreact over the stupidest of reasons, particularly with someone's opinion over a certain character that they like. So, what was her response to Ven's comment in one of her old videos? Listen to me, you furry meatloaf! Newsflash. End of story. Yeah. That. This is the re main reasons why I left the Adventure Team community in the first place. Is, yes, I as I will clarify one more time, it is because of them groveling in submission to Ralphie or aka the Misfits little beck and call. But it's mostly because I would rather want to be my own person rather than dealing with those who would get all butthurt and get all upset and emotional over the stupidest of reasons. Now, I'm going to point out a comment section that I find quite, quite amusing. This is from Cake the Pop Star Pikachu. For just a huge wondering, I felt the same pain over this guy. He literally hates one of us in the spoof community, and we already blocked him since he is the biggest bitch in YouTube as a troll. But yet, you might be careful with his stupid friends to dislike the comment mean things in your videos because you really need to block him in your YouTube channel and in Google+. Because this happens to me once back in 2015 through 2016, and I got annoyed so badly by him, and it happened to my friend once back in 2016. But she finally returned as a spoofer. But even so, it happened to Taylor once in her Google Plus account and she already blocked him, which is getting stupid. For this guy to talk crap about spoofing, for real, I'm still a huge spoofer fan and now he still hates spoofs today in 2018. Just because he hates Rafi and my other friends since we have our own adventure teams to roleplay and have fun with. Um, okay, Miss Cake, the pop star, Pikachu, um, first of all, um, Fent has the right to speak his mind, because he has an opinion, and everyone is entitled to their opinion, and his thoughts do fall under the fair use guidelines, and frankly though, you have no right to basically call him a troll, and now, uh, yes, I will clarify, I was one of those individuals that called Vent a troll back at the time. But this was before me and him had made amends and become good acquaintances. If you don't believe me, ask Fen Light privately and he will validate the statements that him and I did not get along very well. But yet while he was the silver one, I acted like a man-child. But after a little discussion with my family, they suggested that I talk to Van Light in a silver manner, which I did. And you know what? Because of that, me and him are very good friends. So, 
He's not a bad person. He's actually trying to make sure that you guys understand that what you're doing is not spoofs. Let me give you guys a little bit of facts of what a spoof is. It is even defined in a dictionary. A humorous imitation of something, typically a film or a particular genre of film, in which its characteristic features are exaggerated for comic effect. You want a good example of what a spoof is? Let's take Team Four Star, for example. They made the Dragon Ball Z Abridged series. Now, this is the definition of how a parody and a spoof is. They take something and they make a complete comedy effect on it. For example, they don't make it entirely based on Dragon Ball Z. There are some humors here and there. There is some references of other content as well. There are some minor swears here and there, but it is creative. It is funny, humorous, and that is the true definition of a spoof or a parody. They actually took time and effort to make a parody of one of the biggest anime shows in all of the entire franchise. Another good example is Robot Chicken, a show very known for making good spoofs and parodies over everything like Marvel or Capcom or even horror films, etc, etc. They actually make it work. That is what a parody and a spoof is not making a video clip from another company, muting the audio and put subtitles or other audio from other films and other companies into it. That's not a spoof or a parody. That's just basically identity theft or whatever is a proper word for it. Maybe Van Lai could make some good titles for that if he wants to make a response video of this one. So, frankly, to all you adventure team and spoof community members, just stop with your whining and complaining. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions, and everyone's opinions does fall under fair use. You don't have to make these stupid reaction videos and get all butt hurt over the stupidest of reasons. I am Ben Maza, may the force be with you all, and have a good day.